What is going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and today I am coming to you with another Slashback Saturday review. Today we are doing sample size slashers. Slashers by the fun size. Slashers by the bite size. As long as they're sample size, that's all we care about. Uh, this category can be either a segment from a anthology, a short film, a small independent short, even a fan film if you want. Just has to be small. I am doing the film Terrifier. No, not that full length feature film that came out in 2017. I am doing a review of the segment that started the character from the anthology All Hallows Eve. Now the whole film All Hallows Eve was directed by Damien Leone but we are going to be talking about the Terrifier segment which introduced the world really to Art the Clown. Now there was one small Art the Clown segment uh, short film that they did before but I haven't been able to get a hold of that yet so you know, and it really wasn't known at all. In fact, most people don't know about it. A lot of people that have seen Terrifier don't even know about this movie. But this is where Art the Clown was really introduced to the world. Now, we know that Art the Clown and Terrifier was played by David Howard Thornton, who did an amazing job. In this film, he is played by Mark Gianelli. And Mark Gianelli does a really good job. I really enjoy him in the film. Uh, I did see this after I saw Terrifier, so I'll get into that here in a second. Basically, the way the segments in this anthology film, All Hells Eve, break down is it's Halloween, and they just got done doing some trick-or-treating and whatnot, and a videotape shows up on the front door, old-fashioned videotape. They put it in, and it's some pretty horrific shit on there. Well, the last segment is called Terrifier. And even though it doesn't call it that in the film, it's just, I know that it's called that from research. It is a segment about a killer clown, a psychotic killer clown, who stalks a costume designer on her way back from a movie shoot. Uh, she pulls into a gas station to get gas, runs into this clown who just got done smearing some nasty all over the bathroom walls, and then come to find out he's in there killing people and chopping their heads off. Uh, this is a really cool short slasher film or segment, and it introduces us to Art. Art is such a cool character. Now, I do want to say, because I'm going to start with pros and cons right away, I have no cons, but I do want to get into pros, and I have to say that Mark Gianelli is not near as good as David Howard Thornton. But I still really like him, and he is a positive for me. His performance was good. His performance was fun. It's just David Howard Thornton kind of like embodied that role, if you know what I mean. So that's all. But he was still really awesome, and I really enjoyed him. Gore in this movie is great. Uh, you know the gore you saw in Terrifier? It's the same quality, just on a smaller scale. I love the gore in this film. I love it, love it, love it. There are some great scenes. There is a scene where there is a girl who has her face carved into a jack-o'-lantern, which is one of Art's things that he does, but she's still alive. And I love it. It's so cool. It looks so hideous. In Terrifier, you got to see some of Art's weapons. Well, in this one, he uses the flail, which I love. It's a homemade flail that he made out of knives and scissors and razor blades and even needles. And it's really cool, and he uses that in this film. I don't want to give the segment away because a lot of people haven't seen this movie, so I don't want to give everything that happens away. But Art shows up in a couple other parts of the film, All Hallows Eve, aside from just the segment. And then during the credits, he shows up again. And he shows up after the segment. And I don't want to say how exactly, but it's really cool. And in a way, it almost breaks the fourth wall, and that's kind of cool too, and I like that. I thought it was really cool, really awesome idea to do. This came out, I believe, back in 2013, so uh, we hadn't seen a lot of stuff like this at the time. Now, I will say that All Hallows Eve is not a bad film. Uh, the whole film as a whole, I'm not really doing a review of it, but it could have been better. It's not my favorite anthology, but I do love this segment. 
this segment is one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, check out All Hallows Eve. You can get it in this good two-pack, a Halloween double feature with All Hallows Eve 1 and 2. Part 2 was directed by a ton of different people, all the segments and stuff. But um, Damien Leone did All Hallows Eve, the part 1, the whole thing. But check it out. And like I said, today we are doing the sample size slasher. So that's my review over the sample of Terrifier. Be sure to see it with someone you want to decapitate. This is Bronco Juggalo Sam. Peace. I, 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 I'm a cannonball. I feel invincible the way I'm crushing through